chickens, chickens, nothing but chickens. What can we do with so many pictures? thought the woman. They were out of storage space entirely. Her own clothes were hanging in the bathroom. Then she had an idea. First, she carefully arranged the pictures on the wall. Next, she went to work on pillowcases. Well, she had to do something, too, with all those loose chicken feathers and so much down. She traced the man's chicken pictures onto the outsides of the cases and colored them in. She stuffed the cases with feathers and down. Then she made price tags. When she was all finished, she put up a sign. Chickens, chickens, nothing but chickens, pictures and pillows, country style. Finally, she wrote to all her friends and relatives and also to all her old customers in the city. Please come. It's a grand opening. I've got a new store. Everyone came. Fantastic, they said. Genuine folk art. They bought the pictures and pillows and carried them back to the city. They showed them to family and friends. Word spread far and near, and people came from everywhere to buy pictures and pillows, pillows and pictures. The man and the woman grew famous. They got rich. Now they didn't have to sell eggs anymore. They just sold pictures and pillows, pillows and pictures. Well, they did still keep chickens around. For drawing, said the man. On account of the feathers and down, said the woman. Only the children, as they grew up, sometimes complained. Chickens, chickens, nothing but chickens. It's embarrassing, they said. They meant when friends came to visit, they were always tripping over chickens in the yard. Hush, said their mother. It's been a good living. Haven't they kept you in Sunday shoes all these years? And anyway, your father likes chickens. She herself had never cared that much for poultry, but since the day that she first met him, she dearly loved the man. Also, she still admired his drawings. Her husband overheard her speaking to the children. He smiled to himself and began a new picture. When he was finished, he gave it to his wife. It was a portrait of her, in full color. Not a single chicken was in it. She hung it on the bedroom wall. It wasn't for sale. I love you, said the man. Well, of course you do, said the woman. I love you, too. Then she gave him a quick hug and a kiss and went back to work. When you're running a business, there's always something to do. Do you want to know how this story ends? The man and the woman lived happily ever after, or at least for a long time to come. So far as I know, so did the chickens. Only the children left home. Sufficiently grown, they moved to the city, seeking their fortunes.